How's it going? On the beach today. Today is not a fishing video. It's a tips and tricks video. When things go bad on the beach, how you get out of the trouble you get yourself into. So let's go. When I'm using circle hooks, I like to have a hair on the end of it there. And that's how it fishes effectively. Circle hooks fish best with the bait below the hook, right? Billy fishing style, you know what I'm saying? So then you shred that worm on there with your bait needle and everything, right? Billy fishing style is brilliant, you know? And then, right, to finish off with, the worm has to be hooked over the top of the hook, like that, that holds it on. Today we're going to be fishing lug and squid. So I'm just going to get a bit of squid over here. You know, most of the time, I'll just put it over the top of the hook. But this time, I'm going to put it down here on this bottom hook, like that. But I'm going to need a bit of bait elastic and stuff, because it doesn't have a barb on it. So I'll just get me bait elastic. And so, right, you need to whip that on there, help, help hold the, the worm on. You can use as much elastic as you want, or as little. I like a lot of elastic. There's no sense in things coming loose, you know. You have to have lots of elastic all the time, right? And the problem is though, you know, sometimes you run out. Going for gold here with your elastic, the whole toot and camoon thing, gonna mummify this damn thing with this um, bait elastic. And you know, you're going for gold, right? And then all of a sudden, you run out of elastic. Ah! What do you do? What do you do? You've forgotten to take spare elastic with you. But fortunately, you watch this video. And this is what you do. Follow me. You go over to your fishing rod over here. And you pick that bad boy up and you're thinking, will I ever get to use this? The answer is yes, you will. In here, on, under the butt thing, I have secured one roll of bait elastic. Ha <laughs> ha! Tip number one. So you've got your bait elastic that you get hit in the, the butt of your fishing rod. But, right, you've got no protection for it, so it's going to get all messed up, covered in bait juices, rain and everything. Not so, because with your bait elastic, you get this nifty plastic bag here. That costs two quid, apparently. Right, that's because, right, this is a bait elastic holder. Didn't know that, did you? So you put that in there like that, and you seal it up. Now, it doesn't jiggle around if you put it in your pocket. You can pull out as much elastic as you want, as you need, right? And it costs you two quid. Or the bait elastic was free. I'm not sure which one, but it's pretty cool anyway. Just like one of these really, except this costs you a fortune. And whenever you want the refills for one of these, you can't get them for love nor money. So I go with that all day. Tip number two. So the tide is running pretty hard. So I'm just gonna change over to a grip wire. But I think it's, it's, that, it's running that hard. I don't think it's gonna hold anyway. But I have an answer to that problem. So when you're on the beach and you can't get your grip wires to hold for love no money, the thing you should do is get an elastic band, just an ordinary elastic band like this. And you loop it around like so. We all put elastic bands together when we were kids, just like that. Slide it down. Lock them into place. Now just tighten that elastic up as much as you need. You won't lose the elastic because it's attached to the lead weight. And that's all you'll need to get yourself out of trouble if they won't hold. That was tip number three.
that's a nice one. I'll try to I'd race two, yeah. Double shot. Nice. Dummy! <laughs> Fat ones. Lovely. Let's see if this one's big enough. Legal limit's 22, 23, I think. What? Has to be over 25 for me, and he is. So that's good enough. Din dins. Damn! Crabs have bitten the hook off the, the hook length. Sometimes it's spider crabs. Sometimes it's um, brown crabs. But I have a cure for this. This is what it is. You take a piece of 80 pound mono. As long as you need. This is the loop knot, so you make the loop. And you go around the 80 pound or 50 pound or whatever you have. Shock leader, you go around four times. Once. Twice. Three times. Four times, now you go back down again. You go back down another four times. Helps if you just pinch it every time you go around. I've been using fluorocarbon and it's quite springy. So then you go back through the loop again, at the bottom. You pull it down, moisten it. You tie it down on top of the loop there. And so now you have your, your 50 pound, your, sorry, your 30 pound fluoro there, and you have your 80 pound here. So now you've tied up your crab bite trace so you just trim off the tags put them in your pocket so you want about 15 centimeters all together because you, you got to tie the knot as well so then you take your hook When I do this, I get up as close as I can to the actual join itself. And I go around twice. This is the figure of eight. Then through the back. And this will give you room enough to put a worm in. So then you close it down. Forms the figure of eight. So then you close it down and the good thing is now as well that you've got a tag end that faces up as well so it keeps the worm on the hook and when that's in the crab's mouth he be chewing on that 80 or 50 pound there and uh, it keeps your fluorocarbon free and you don't have to go with heavy snoots there you have it there there's your hook your bite trace your nice light fluoro this is tip number four Hope it comes in handy. Nice. So, we're just packing up now. And here's a tip for those with multipliers and fake spools, right? But especially for guys with multipliers. I don't know if you've ever tried this, but sometimes this will pass under one of these. 
And if that happens and you haven't noticed, you'll have to chase it all the way. You'll have to take all the line off the reel, chase it all the way to the end. And to stop that from happening, you can either put it through here like this, on this reel, you can put it through there like that, and then it won't go under itself and cause your problems. It's a nightmare. But not all reels have this on it, so I came up with this here, another elastic band trick. It's an elastic band with a bead on it. It doesn't need to have a bead on it. It doesn't cost pennies, right? And so you just put that through there like that. Comes out the other side. Pass the bead through there, pull it tight. And then you just go over the foot of the reel. And this will work on any reel, because they all got feet. And it works for fixed spools as well, obviously. So you don't have that problem with fixed spools, but you have to mess with the little tab at the end. And that's a pain, I hate that. And so uh, this is Billy. This is Billy's tips to make your life easier when you're fishing, when you've messed up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, like it. And remember, I'll see you on the beach. Bye.